welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Ran, and today I'm going to talk about the Satanic Panic, which I watched via the Shutter app last night. So this is a Fangoria film, which is super exciting to see with the relaunch of the magazine. I'm really excited to see what they're going to do with it. If they're going to have any new topics in there. Um, I really, really, really would love to get a subscription back. We'll see where that pans out at the end of all the craziness that's going on right now. But the movie centralizes around Sam, who is a pizza delivery gal on her little moped, and she's kind of struggling a whole lot with money. Um, it just seems like no one really wants to tip her, and it's a bummer. Some lady gave her her husband's, uh, her recently deceased husband's sweater as it's just pouring down rain on her. And she's quoted to say it smells like racism, which that can't smell good. She ends up taking a lot of boxes of pizza to a gigantic mansion. And I think the total was over a hundred dollars. And of course this guy, I think his name was Gary, just wrote zero for tip. So she's kind of had enough of it. Enough is enough. She needs to make that bread and bangs on the door. They're kind of like, eh, not, not answering. So she sneaks in, and unfortunately, um, it's a bunch of occultists, Satanists, who ordered a bunch of pizzas, and she kind of gets wrapped up in this um, terrible ritual that she really didn't want to be a part of at all. She just wanted to tip, like, tip these people. They deserve it. Come on. Um, so Sam, we found out she's a virgin is the uh, perfect vessel for this ritual that's going to happen and pretty much fight or flight kicks in she wants to get out of there she's trying to run away she's trying to get herself safe anyone she finds that is also in the same predicament safe and i'm just gonna leave it off here as it is spoiler free this movie has rebecca remain stamos or i don't know if she's just rebecca remain now i, I don't know their i don't know their life it's fine. Jerry O'Connell's in this. Haven't seen him since, I think, uh, Piranha 3D, perhaps? Maybe? Nice to see him. He's always a delight. Um, I'm just gonna go into my likes right away then. So, I liked, uh, there's a specific thing that one of the Satanists is wearing. That's like a gigantic drill bit strapped to um, a, a harness that would go around the legs and nether regions. Very, uh, very inventive. Very interesting. There's a really satisfying kill that comes from that. I won't spoil it, but it's very satisfying. Um, I thought the gore was actually pretty good, which it should be if this is from Fangoria. Like, duh. Um, I thought the, the storyline was interesting. I thought the actors were pretty good. I thought sometimes Sam's character came off a little flat, but it, it didn't really take me out of it. The kills, the gore, great. Very good. My dislikes. There were not enough kills or gore in this movie. I did really appreciate that it, it is a, a comedy horror, like not so much horror element into it. I feel like there's a lot of comedy and I really liked that. Um, I was expecting maybe something with just a little bit more darkness to it as it's, like I said, it's Fangoria released. I thought maybe, you know, they'd, they'd have much more grisly stuff in there, but what we did get was nice. Um, I felt like the, the pacing was a little bit off, like it took a little bit too long for me for things to get where they were going. And it just seemed like sometimes it was just like a filler, like we're, we're not quite ready to take you on to this next part of the movie. So we're kind of going to linger in here and do these things. So that, that got to me a little bit, um, short attention span. Some of us have it. Um, but I mean... I would say in general, I did enjoy watching the movie. I like watching occultist kind of movies and a lot of them don't have that humor to them. Like off the top of my head, I could think like Hell Baby is funny, 
But Hell Baby's like over the top funny. This was not over the top funny. This was like, we're going to go throw some giggles at you. And it wasn't just nonstop like dick and fart jokes, which is cool. I appreciate that. I also really like dick and fart jokes. So that says something about my maturity. Um, I thought that, uh, I mean, they didn't delve too, too much into the actual, like, what they were doing to my satisfaction. I felt like they could have maybe, rather than having these lingering scenes with Sam trying to figure out what to do, they could have maybe built upon, like, the history of the the coven and maybe, you know, go a little bit deeper into the spell, into what their beliefs were, because I thought that would add an interesting element to it. But, uh, yeah. Have you guys seen this movie? What are your thoughts? Leave me a comment down below. Um, do you have Shudder? What else can you recommend on Shudder? Because I feel like I've kind of just exhausted all the movies I kind of wanted to see. Let me know if there's any hidden gems. I'd appreciate that. Also, like any streaming platform right now, please give me suggestions because we're running dry. Not that I don't have like a gigantic amount of movies behind me. First world problems, but I hope everyone's doing okay. I hope you are all staying healthy and I love you guys so much. If you have not yet, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Don't forget to hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. I just remembered I forgot to rate the movie. I'm going to give it like a 2.5 out of 5. I had a good time watching it. I could probably get people that aren't into really grisly stuff to watch it with me. I will try to get the groom to watch it with me. I might be able to sell him with Jerry O'Connell. Maybe. For no reason in particular. Stand by me. I don't know. So, um... You can follow me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. You can also find my solo as well as reviews with the groom available in podcast form on iTunes. Please don't forget to check out all of the awesome creators and their content from the Farsighted Network as they are the ones that facilitate us to be on iTunes. And I love you guys so much. See you later. Bye.